Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. I'll be forever thankful that Steven Soderbergh stepped back into filmmaking despite announcing his retirement a few years ago. Now just months after the release of his last film, Let Them All Talk, he's back with an all-star ensemble for No Sudden Move. It's now streaming on HBO Max, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Soderbergh goes back to Detroit in 1954, and Don Cheadle's Kurt Goyans is about to get wrapped up in some sketchy shit despite his recent release from jail. He's a hitman with a reputation, much like his partner in crime Ronald, played by Benicio Del Toro. They're hired along with Karen Culkin's Charlie to babysit the family of an auto executive, played by David Harbour. The crew needs Harbour's character to steal a document out of his boss's safe and their job go, quickly goes awry, forcing them to scramble out of the mess that they've gotten themselves into. No Sudden Move also stars Brendan Fraser, Ray Liotta, John Hamm, and Amy Simons. Soderbergh is working under a script by Ada Solomon, the man behind the Bill and Ted and Now You See Me franchises. There's a playful quality to Soderbergh's film, as these characters are all a little nutty, giving the ensemble plenty to play with. It's a dark comedy right from the very beginning, as we see these tough guys literally hired to babysit, uh, and it only gets worse uh, for this heist when it doesn't go to plan. Soderbergh harkens back to his days making the Ocean's Eleven movies with the tone and the slick style. Now with him being his own editor and cinematographer, every film of his has his distinct stamp all over it, no matter the story or genre that he's playing in. Now this time, it's an ode to the 1950s noir crime dramas set against a racially charged backdrop of Detroit and the auto industry. Soderbergh and Solomon uh, infused this film with bounties and side deals, illicit affairs, and other tough guy maneuvers. It really lives in the dialogue and counter moves by all of these key players watching and waiting you know, to figure out the games and the rules of what's actually going on. It's all a little messy as they, along with the audience, is then left to wonder, well, who's working for who? And is mob boss Frank Pelly, who's played effortlessly by Ray Liotta, really the one ultimately in charge? It's great to see people like David Harbour and Brendan Fraser really playing against type. Harbour is a riot as the bumbling auto executive who's in way over his head. Amy Simons dons a high-pitched voice as his wife, and she's always seen with a cigarette dangling from her hand. Brendan Fraser then gets to be the big, tough guy that you don't want to mess with. Now, I didn't always know what was going on in No Sudden Move, but I think that's kind of the part of the point, as these characters are all certainly playing by their own rules in the name of survival. That really leads to a ton of plot twists and betrayals along the way. Soderbergh keeps you on your toes from start to finish as he's reveling in the look and uncertainty of the period. I'm giving No Sudden Move 4 out of 5 ticket stops. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I get some movie reviews as well as my appearances on Twin Cities Live. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of No Sudden Move. This is Paul's trip to the movies.